So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a GIF or GIF file. It's basically just a mini animation. It's very short and simple. So the first thing you want to do in your URL is type photo P. So photopea is photo and then PEA.com. And it's going to look like this except your account is going to be red if you've never been in Photopia before. So you want to click on that and log in through your school Gmail. And then that way it will just enable you to, to do more things. So make sure that's a yellow orange. Then you want to click on new project <clears throat> and type GIF, GIF, people call it GIF or GIF. And then I'm going to put example two, because I've done another example. Uh, don't ignore, ignore all the stuff on this side and down here. You're just going to have a blank canvas. If you want to change the inches to 11 by 8 or 8 by 11, depending on if you're doing a portrait or landscape, you can do that. So go ahead and create. Make sure you have your layers right here. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is create a background. Now, I have another video on how to use Photopia in Google Classroom. If you don't know how to use it, I recommend you go back and watch that video first. Your toolbar, excuse me, your toolbar has a lot of options. If you look at the little triangle in the bottom right hand corner, you click and hold, it gives you more options. So I'm going to put a gradient in the background. And if you look down here, there's different colors. You can change those if you don't like what the colors are. So I'm going to click and hold and drag to get the gradient. And if you want a higher contrast gradient, then you can do that as well. All right. So there's the background. So the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to go to the text tool. You can also use shapes. Uh, you could use the ellipse tool right here and create a bouncing ball across the screen. I'm going to show you how to use uh, the text tool and make that moving and, and make that an animation instead. So pick a font that you like. If you look through here, you have a bunch of different options. I'm going to select that one. You can select the color right here and the size. Okay. I'm going to make it larger because that's a little too small. And then I have to select, double click on there. Sometimes it does this to you. There we go. I'm going to do EMS for East Middle School. Now, if I go to the move tool, <clears throat> excuse me, I can move it around. You can also stretch it out and make it different, a different size, which is really nice instead of having to go up to the, the text tool. So the other thing we could do here <clears throat> that could be a little more creative if I double click on here, I can start over. I'm going to delete and show you a different, a different idea. So you can do the whole text if you want. Uh, I am going to put the E, capital E, and I'm going to have this show up as EMS. So that's the animation that I'm going to do. So that's the first layer. Okay, second layer. M. And I want to move it to here. Okay, next layer. I'm going to go back to the text tool because I want these three separate um, objects, if you will. EMS. And again, I have to move it to where I want it. So these are on three separate layers. If you can see that, EMS, three separate layers. So. You can make this more complicated. You can have stuff like start and a letter can start up here and you can slowly have it go down to the bottom of the page and then have it move up. So what we can do is have maybe this start off this way and then the letters could all go down. So you can make a copy of this. Copy and then paste it. You can do control C and then control V to paste it. And then maybe we want the, le the letters to come down like this. And then now I'm going to copy control C, control V to paste and then put this down here. 
And then the same with the E, control C for copy, control V for paste. And then bring it down here. Okay, so I have all these layers here. Leave the background layer alone. Start at the top layer, double click. Now, this is the command you're gonna give it so that it will be an animation. You're gonna do underscore A underscore, and you need to do that for every layer. Underscore A underscore. Now you have to hold the shift key down and hit what looks like the hyphen key on the top after all the numbers on your keyboard. And it has to be underscore A underscore. So make sure that you've done that for every layer except what? Your background. We, would, we want the background to just stay the way it is. We don't want it moving. Underscore A underscore. So just be careful that you're not doing the hyphen and I'll show you what that looks like in a second. Let's see. Underscore A. Look, that's a hyphen. You don't want that. So make sure you're holding the shift key down so you get the underscore. Okay, so I have underscore A underscore for every layer except the background. Now what I'm going to do is go to File, Export As. Normally you're exporting PNG, JPEG if you're turning work in. For this, it's a GIF or GIF file. So make sure that you select GIF. And it's a little slow. So you can kind of drag around to see what it looks like. That's super fast. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. I don't want it that fast. Uh, that's a little too slow. I like that. Okay, so I'm going to save it. And then look, it saves right down here at the bottom. And then you can open it up and see what it looks like. And a box will pop up and it will show you what it looks like. So you can do this with your name. And as you as you can see, it's it's a little confusing because when you look at your layers and you can see all of it at once, it's confusing because you're seeing every layer of the animation but this is showing you what actually happens so go ahead and try that you can try it with images too so each one of these could be a picture that's moving it it, it doesn't have to be the text it doesn't have to be the shape tool down here though you can do that all right 